G'day, I'm Mark Berg and welcome to the show Fishing Addiction. If you've never seen the show before, well you've been missing out. It's very different to your normal fishing show in that we surprise people and take them on incredible fishing adventures. And this week we're surprising a young fella. He's about 11 years old, his name is Noah. And we're taking him to the Northern Territory on a trip that I'm sure he's never gonna forget with a mob called Offshore Boats. Now Damien is his father, he's coming along as well. So it's gonna be a great father and son trip to one of my favorite places in Australia, the Northern Territory. We parked up the D-Max, we're gonna walk around the corner and we're actually gonna wait inside or out the front of his house as he rocks up from school. We'll be standing there waiting. We're gonna surprise him with the trip. Well, he's never gonna forget. Let's go get him. Now this is number seven. So I'm pretty sure dad's home. I'm sure about mum. Hello. Hey. How are you? Good, good. Yeah, good. Come outside yep. and, and let's plan this out. He's he's been out there, is he? He can be out there. Oh, there? <laughs> let's hope so. So, yeah, yeah. No. Probably nothing like this has ever happened to him before, no, though. No, you're right. You're right there. He should go right. Oh, they're not here, are they? Nah, oh, nah, oh, it's a van. van. Oh, courier's van. The missus has been buying stuff again. <laughs> yeah, that they freak me out then. Gear. Yeah, fishing gear. Oh, really? Good stuff. <laughs> that is from my tackle store. That is lures. That is not rehearsed, <laughs> I swear. That is lures that's turned up with the courier yeah. while we're here from Attic Tackle. A few, uh, few fish traps. <laughs> and they're fish traps as well. Stop it. <laughs> How good are fish traps? Oh man, working a trade. Oh. Working a trade. Good plug. I like that. <laughs> nice plug for Wilson. Yeah, Very good. Yeah. It's really, oh. yeah, this is it. Right, we're on? I think so. Has it got? Yeah. That'll be it. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. All right, they're here. <laughs> front, I'm going to wait until he gets out. He's out. What's going on? What was this? What is this? <laughs> Noah. Hi. How are you going? Good. Do you know who I am? Mark That's right. Come here, buddy. <laughs> you look a bit stunned, mate. What's going on, mate? What? Come stand over here with me. What's, all, what's this all about? <laughs> what's this all about? Hi, Mum. Hi. Come in over here, guys. Come in, Dad. Come over, Mum. You've got to be in it too. Mate, um, we're here. You've seen the show. Yes. You like the show? Yes. Well, guess what? What? You're on the show. We're here <laughs> that, to take you. <laughs> We're going to the Northern Territory, man. And that's true. This is true. Okay. Oof. <laughs> I'm, I'm the NT, mate. Going to Darwin. Darwin? I've never been there, have I? No, not yet. <laughs> You're about to go. <laughs> How's that feel? Good. You look a bit stunned. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, and excellent. how does it make you guys feel seeing yeah. him get this chance? Excellent. excellent. You're crying, aren't you? No, no, no. Yes, you yes, are. Yes, There's you are. tears from mum. Is this what all about when you're like being excited for me, mum, when you yeah, get, when you yeah. pick me up? <laughs> you got tears. I was, I was like, what's, what's wrong with mum? <laughs> what's wrong with mum? This is what's wrong. Yeah. She's excited yeah. for you. She's pumped. So, of course, dad's coming too. Of course. Yeah, yeah. so it's going to be a boys' trip. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to have the best time, and you know what, as what? well as uh, the great fishing we're going to do. Are we going to do like river or ocean fishing? Mainly ocean. Yeah. We're going to catch big jewies <laughs> and finger mark and trevally and mackerel. I never catch a trevally. Well, you're... Maybe, maybe one, but not for a long time. Yeah. Like that yeah. in Port yeah. Hedland. Yeah, not, not as big as you're going to catch. Yeah. Big ones like this. Is it a GT or any kind Sometimes of it's GTs, <laughs> but mainly they're going to be brassy trevally. Now, can I get a word in or are you <laughs> going to keep asking questions? Now, listen. Not only do you get to catch all these cool fish, but you have, you've seen this before, the fishing addiction challenge. Yeah, I, I heard you give like, like... Five grand's worth of gear from Wilson, <laughs> 5,000 bucks worth of fishing gear, dude, for you, and then another $2,000 worth of fishing gear from my tackle store down at Tweed Heads. You get to come down, if you win, and pick whatever Ooh. you want, 2,000, so 7,000 <laughs> bucks worth. How does that sound? That sounds like so cool. <laughs> So cool? Yes. Very, very good. Well, congratulations. Welcome to the show, my friend. We're going to have the time of our lives, Absolutely. yeah? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's going to be sweet. Give him a hug. Go on, mate. <laughs> like, How good is this going to be? Can't wait. Can't Before wait. Your mum, she's still crying. <laughs> 
it's um yeah, yeah no, it's been fun i sort of taken him on the boat as soon as i could mm. to get him into it um and yeah he loves it he loves it probably no i wouldn't say more than me but pretty close <laughs> pretty close what are you excited about the most for this trip um i like maybe three or three things first I can't wait to go to Darwin with you. Second, I want to catch a fish with you. And third, I want to I want to go like to the ocean with you. Which fish did you caught first? When? Like when you took. When I was a kid. No. No, when you when you took when you first went fishing. And, and my first fish that I caught by myself was very exciting. It was a mullet. A mullet. <laughs> a mullet. A mullet. How big was it? Like this? about that big. With, a, with bread and a, a float, oh. and I was about seven, I think, and I was yep. just doing it by myself. Yep. And I caught mullet, and now I've caught lots of different things since then. Uh huh. But you're not allowed to catch bigger fish than me. <laughs> That's Ex the rules. Excuse me? <laughs> you better. Be you yeah. reckon you will? I guess. You're on, mate. You're on. Yes, you're a dead set legend. I'm so excited to fish with you. And I'm. And I'm but I'm super excited than you to go, oh, I want to go with you. You're a good boy. We paid him a lot of money. <laughs> uh, guys, uh, congratulations. Yeah, I think we're going to have the best time. So you good. have a wonderful yeah, so young man here. Thank you. And it's so great to have you on the show. So I will see you at the airport. Yep. And until then, mate, uh, be good to your parents. Go the Hawks. And <laughs> or maybe, you're now not going. Or maybe, or maybe the Swans. Go the Swannies. All right, go, see you later, guys. Have a bite, have a bite. Have a bite. Yeah, right there, bye. <laughs> it's even. Hey, boy. Well done, mate. Well done. How good is going to be? Good. It's going to be so good. Yeah, what are you excited about the most for now? To meet you. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's been... Yeah, yeah. He's been saying, I yeah. just want to meet Mark Berg. Yeah. He's so good. He's my favourite fisherman ever. Like, come on, what about me? <laughs> <laughs> I actually catch fish, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's already started. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, so yeah, no, I think I think that's probably the, yeah. the biggest thing. Yeah. So we've got Damien and Noah up here for, for four days fishing with us in the top end. We're going to be focusing predominantly on blue water, reef and sport. Uh, we'll see what the weather does over the coming four days. Uh, looks like we are going to have some windy periods. Um, one of those days we'll probably nip across to the TV Islands, but uh, predominantly reef and sport. So we'll be trying to get um, species such as coral trout, golden snapper, black jewfish, grass emperor. If the weather backs off, if we have the opportunity, we will push out wide and try and get him a, a nanny guy, maybe a red emperor. This boat is set up to take on all types of weather. Unfortunately, the wind had come up and was blowing around 25 knots. This didn't stop Noah and Damien getting straight into the fishing. Oh, okay. Let's get all right in on my hook. Finally, you caught a fish. Pretty good fish, actually, maybe. A bit better, right? A bit better, it's a bit better. What is it? Oh, oh the... no, it's golden snapper. Golden Oh, oh, so, that... oh so that's what they look like, right? Oh, not golden. Hey, Dad, am I in the bottom? Yes, mate. Okay. Nah, good job, Dad. Another one. No. Yep. Oh, <laughs> Mm. I better not. I I better get up before that shark that I got your bait gets it, Dad. Sharks. Be, be quiet because it. Cold trout, cold trout, cold trout. Oral. Wow, my first ever cold trout. Double hook up on trout. Whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look at the colours. Look at the colours. 
look at the colors together. This one's a bit lighter, this one's a bit darker. You can tell, see, look at the colors. My first trout. First trout in Darwin. Yeah, my first trout in Darwin. This is pretty cool. I love the color. This is so amazing. And that looks like it has like a sun. It's it, it looked like that one, it looked like it's eating a sun. Well, I'm glad Noah's having a good time because I certainly wasn't. You know, imagine the, there's a fish going to jump out of the water and get the bait. Imagine it. After some severe vomiting that my cameraman kindly didn't film, I was flat on my back and beginning to lose consciousness. We were three and a half hours from Darwin and the situation had quickly turned bad. Jordan got on the satellite phone and called triple zero. An assessment was done over the phone and the decision was made to call out care flight. Uh, we're, we're still got the patient on the vessel about 20 metres off the Sandy Island in the safe anchorage in the shelter waters. Hello, Hello. 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 Oh, what have you done there? I had lost complete control of my body and was unable to communicate with the crew. I was in and out of consciousness, but luckily my team was there to look after me until help arrived. Hello, Jordan. Speaking of mine, mate, we produce a lot of down-washed equipment, about 100 knots of wind, so make sure you can't be in here, you can sort of secure it if you have to land here. I don't know if you're going to get a helicopter or something. See it, see it, see it, see it, see it. Am I a burger? I see the helicopter. Mark Berg. What the? After being airlifted to hospital, Noah and Damien couldn't do anything else but fish, so fish they did. And the crew agreed that the 15 species challenge was the most suitable option for Noah and the type of fishing that was up ahead. We're not yet, not yet. Double hookup! Oh, nope, not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, what is it? Uh, this is what, the, their nickname. Is, their nickname is called a tricky snapper, also known as a blue line. Blue line emperor. You can try to have the blue line as like an emperor. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Got That's you. Jew banger. How oh, the old not interested trick. Ooh. Better than, I think it might be better than yours, Dad. I think that's a Jew fish, mate. Ah! Uh, Double. What have we got? Alright, uh, here we go. Is what it, is it? Oh, Jew! Hey. Don't so get hurt! Hey. Is that a keeper? Yeah, ready, here we go. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Nice fish, Noah. Oh, Jew fish! Boom! Good stuff, mate. First one of them you've caught in that? Yeah! Ida? Yeah, he is very, very heavy. What an awesome fish that was. Yeah. When I, when I caught my first jew fish, I was like, oh my god. And then and then I was like holding it. And then it was and then it was like a barramundi, but I thought I thought I thought 
Jewfish can grow bigger than Barrel Mundi, but instead, Barrel Mundis can grow bigger than a Jewfish. But I didn't care because it, that was my biggest fish yet. Fish on! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Come on, boy. Right, bait. What a fish! The weather had settled down and the birds had showed. So John and Jordan suggested we spin up some pelagics. Unlucky Noah. Now get that lure back in the water and have another crack. Well done, mate. You've just passed the halfway mark. There are only seven species to go. Okay. I can't wind it. Lift. And I want. Lift. No, I got it. I got it. Let go. Roger. 
Yes! Oh, nice brassy for belly. Brassy. Hey guys, if you want to support Fishing Addiction, become a member today. Uh, we really try and make dreams come true on this show and uh, with all your support, we, uh, we can do it. But the more members we have, the more trips we can do, the bigger prizes we can give away. So become part of the crew today. Sign up at fishingaddiction.com.au uh, and you never know, it could be your door that I come knocking on next. This episode of Fishing Addiction, I'm airlifted out of remote Northern Territory waters after collapsing. Yes, we are in position now. Oh my God. They're taking Mark Berg. Yeah. What the? Oh, oh yeah. Jufan! Noah and his dad, Damien, continue on with the 15 species challenge as I wait to hear some answers from the health professionals. And what did you think when you saw me sick on the floor? What did, you, what did you think was going on? I felt so bad about you. Really? Yes. How come? Because, because yeah, I mean, you are a very good fisherman and i never seen a fisherman seasick before. So, yeah. That's it, weird, isn't it? Yes, very weird. Noah and his dad have knocked off eight species from the 15 species challenge and with two days of fishing in front of them, things are looking good. Unfortunately, the doctor has given me orders to stay home, but that won't slow down this pair of mad keen anglers. The boys from offshore boats take Noah to see his first ever crocodile and then get straight back into the fishing. Looks like it climbed up over there, Noah. That's a cool crocodile. Look like he caught a fish. It's gone already. Oh, fella. Oh, oh, fella. Oh, oh, here we go. Nice. Whoop, whoop. Good fish, right? Yep, there it is, big goldie. Big goldie, huh? But that's not the species that we're after, Dad, still. <laughs> oh, he's got hooked. Oh, what a cracker, goldie. Still 70s. Oh, 50. Eight, oh, I think I've got you by one now. Oh, oh, it's a trout! Oh, it's a get it, someone get it, someone get it. Yo! Yeah. Finger mark! That's a cracker. Oh, nice finger mark, Noah. Thanks. Cracker. Look at that. We're on the fish trap. No, may, it may not the biggest one, but it's still good, it's still good fighting fish. Look at the size of that finger mark! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yeah. Oh, that was cool. Yep, it's a finger mark. Oh no, cod! It's a cod! It's a different type of cod, is it? Maui cod! Look at that, Maui! It's a trout, isn't it? Oh, no. You know, this is a. Um... Well, whatever it is, it look, look at the colours, right? Good camouflage. Hey, Dad, if it's a new species, that is number nine, isn't it? Yes, Noah, it's species number nine, a yellow spot cod, and a fish we've never had on the show before. Nice fish. Yeah, he's still there. Go, 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 go. Got him? Got him? I, can't, I need you to my other one. Got him? Yes. Okay, go on. Oh, what do you reckon that is, Noah? That's, I don't know. Oh, it could well be. That's Ravalli. Go, 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 go. That's it. Yeah, it's got a bit of a thump about like a Trevally. Oh, it's a big cooter again. Are you serious? Oh, big barracuda. He's getting... I hate cooters. Oh, God, there's 
Let's get him up so he counts as a species, eh? Yeah, let's count as a species. Hey! Up to me? Yeah. Well, I know what Bergie would say. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> Bergie's not here today, is he? <laughs> so what do you reckon, Damien? <laughs> I reckon it's a decent cooter. I reckon that's a pretty solid power cooter. Yeah. I'm going to say yes, but what do you reckon, Bergie? Uh, let me think about it. Uh, no, definitely not. Good try, though. Can we try that away? Well, Bergie says no, but we say yes. Should we yeah. keep it or release it? <laughs> I love it. What? Love it. All right. Thanks, Bergie. Number 10. Biggest cooter? Yeah, this is my biggest cooter. Now, I know Noah really wants to catch a Spanish mackerel, so John and Jordan put out the troll baits, and within seconds, Noah's rod goes off. That's it. If he wants to run, let him run. This could be the fish he's looking for. Spanish? Yeah, it's a Spanish. There we go. Now he knows he's hooked. A big Spanish. If I catch that, that'll be a species. Sure will. Well, we haven't got it in yet. Are you doing well? Count our chickens before it's hatched. Chicken? Well done, mate. You're yeah, a lift, chicken. Lift, lift, lift. <laughs> oh, it's I see, I see, I see, I see. It's a massive queen. It's a big queen. Oh, queen. 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 I don't care if it's a... Keep going, keep going. Yeah. That's what you always wanted to You know. wanted a queenie. Okay, turn it back, turn it back, turn it back, turn it back. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it! Yeah! There we go! That's the Follow biggest queen! Open. Follow Follow open. Open. <laughs> <laughs> High five! Boom! Yeah, boom! Woo! Just wait. Ow, 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 ow. Well, did you get the spike, did you? No, firstly, that's a very cool fish. Secondly, its spikes are very, very dangerous. Yes. <laughs> that's why I'm holding it. All right, Noah! A massive queenie that even Bergie would be happy with. As that is a huge queenie. So how many species is that up to now? Eleven. Eleven species. <laughs> Four to go. Four to go. Ready, Noah? E -e. Are you ready too, Dad? I'm just having a quick vibe, mate. So at this reef, Noah, we're in 23 metres of water and we're targeting big black jewfish. Some of the biggest, baddest, angriest jewfish we've caught on this boat have come from this reef. I think I took all of my bad. Oh, oh Dad, can I? I'll just get him up off the bottom. On the fish trap. That could have been sharp. That's a big joint for sure. That's a good fish, Damien. Oh, I want that. Really hoping he doesn't go under the ledge. That's a shark. Oh, I'm moving away. Yep. Move up. That's a shark. Yep, they're all in, mate. Yep. Turn now. Hopefully. Well, at least I can try, right? Yep. You ready? Yes. You ready? Yes. Now that is one of the lighter outfits. Yep. These are big, powerful fish. So we've got to keep him off the reef. We've got to hope that we don't... Uh... That's good. I saw it was... Firstly, I saw it was a shot because it, that's how like, they move a little bit. Secondly, um, it, it was pretty... It was pretty, like... Pretty, uh, pretty hard to do it to get rid of the boat, like un like under the boat nearly. It was, I thought it would, it, it nearly broke, but it, we just Jewish, got it. Jewish. Black Jewfish on the fish track. I caught it, didn't I? Oh, oh, it is a Black Jewfish Woo. on the fish trap, Noah. Woo. Legendary. Yes. Very, very respectable black dew fish on the fish trap. A fish trap is like a lure. You can see it right over there. Like a lure? Uh, is it higher, mate? I can't. How's the bite on it? No, it just swallowed, just came and just went. <laughs> so good, so good. It's not every day you see a black jewfish like this caught on a fish trap by an 11 year old. Incredible. Funny, huh? Now, time for some double hookup species action. You got him, mate. Oh, 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 oh my god! Yeah. Double hookup! Woo! Woo! Beauty, beauty! 
you devil hooker! Oh my god! I never got a lot. I never got a fish with a lot before, Dad. Are you happy with me, double hooker? It's the best, John. Father and son, double hooker. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, beauty. Yeah, boy. Oh, oh both Mac Tuna. Yeah! Oh, Mac Tuna! Another that species, gentlemen. Double hookup. Spanish Wait, that's Spanish? Right. It's gone now. Oh! Oh! Another oh. fish! Oh. That fish. I wonder if Bergie would let us kill what is that? One of these. No, no. Definitely not. No. Yeah, it is. is this a species? Uh, this certainly is a new species that we haven't caught. Wait, so you guys haven't caught it? Yeah, Queen's Dabo, number Keep six. Uh, is it number 14? But remember we spoke to Bergie earlier on the sat phone. No. Ah, oh, come on, mate, give us a break. No chance. No chance. Righto. And he told us that uh, he wouldn't let us include that blue salmon. Yeah. We caught earlier today. Yes. I reckon we trade out the blue salmon for this beautiful mobile. Okay. Let's take it away. <laughs> Open up those grips and we can throw her back. Good one, Noah. Well done. Oh, he's. And he, she swims away to live another day. Oh. Two more. We only have two more fish. Like the spotty or the Spanish. Or both. Yeah, or both. That's it. Let's see if we can catch them. Oh, 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 double, 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 oh, double, oh, double. Yeah. double. Don't know keep that tight, all right? I know, it was worth it, wasn't it, Dad? No, you were just saying pull them up. But it's Mac. Keeping the pressure on. But it's Mac, Dad. Is that a Mac hook? Is that Spanish? Yep. Mac hook for me? Yeah. Is that Spanish? Yay, my first Spanish Mac hook. Spanish Mac. Nice Spanish, mate. This is my first Spanish mackerel, Dad. That's a good size. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're keeping him. Are we? <laughs> yeah, look at me. 13 and 14 with this Spanish mackerel. You beauty. Nicely That's done. Right. One more Hold species up. to go. Hey. What kind of snake is that? Great work, Noah. That brings up species number 14. One fish to go and only an afternoon to do it. The weather is on Noah and Damien's side. Fingers crossed they can find this species. Tricky snapper, like a blue lion amper, because it, is it an amper? Redfish. Redfish? Is that a species? You call it a species? But amper! Oh, nice one. Is that, what is that? Oh, man, guy. Uh, small is that, is that a species? Is. is that a species? Oh, what is he, about 36, 37 centimetres or so? I reckon... New not counting. Bergie would be pretty harsh on us if we were to include that in the species count of 15. I reckon we're going to have to try and get a bigger one. Sounds good to me. Yep. Do you whacked it, Dad? I whacked it. Oh, he is a bit bigger. 39. 39? Not quite. 37 again. 37 and 39. We'll keep trying, boys. Another one of those same size nannies. Another 39 centimetre. Another 39? Another 39, do you reckon? <laughs> well, what do you know? Here we go. <laughs> 38. I told you. <laughs> oh, yes. Good yeah, that's got some cool, doesn't it, Damien? It Here we go. Oh, oh this could be the one we've been after. I'll have to pull this line in out of the way, eh? Hey? Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut go. my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yell. 
But uh, let's get him on there, Damien. Four, six. Oh, nine. Oh, 50. Ooh. 51 centimetres. Well, I'm finally out of hospital <laughs> and there's only two hours left of fishing in the entire trip. I feel really bad for Noah that I haven't been able to be there for him, but I know the boys from Offshore Boats have stepped up and have really looked after him. So I've got two hours to go for a quick fish this afternoon with him. Uh, we might chase some milkfish and do something, I don't know, I'm not sure yet. And I'm dying to know if he's won the Fishing Addiction Challenge. I so hope he managed to get the full 15 species. Let's go check him out. Where is he? Noah! Did you win? Yeah, I won! You won? Yes! That's awesome, bro! Thanks. Seven grands with the fishing gear. Very good. Yeah. Woo! Shake my hand, mate. Well done. Well done. You smell like fish. You've got fish all over you. That means you've been catching fish. That's brilliant. Well, we've got a couple of hours left. And uh, I reckon my stomach can hold out. Okay. Go for another fish. That's good. See if we can get a milkfish. Yeah, milkfish. Or something else. I don't know. We'll go have a look and see Got what we can look. find, eh? Yeah. Sounds good. Oh, uh, good to be back on board. Holy smokes. Oh, yeah, a mullet. I saw it. Oh, okay, over there, over there, over there. Do you see them? They're like chewing that Ooh. direct hit. That's a good fish. Whoa! Dad, da Whoa. Daddy! Was that the milky? No. That was a mullet. Oh my gosh, did you <laughs> see that? Oh, mullet! That was a milky over there. That was a milky, alright. <laughs> Stupid mullet. Nice, Dad. <laughs> His idea was this. <laughs> fish on. Oh, it's a big one. Whoa, it's like game fishing. It's running. It's huge. <laughs> Eat it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Now, if you said I was going to come to the Northern Territory to chase mullet in the shallows, I'd say you're an idiot. <laughs> but I gotta say, this is a lot of fun too. I dare not go out wide. I might get crook. I'll just deal with this guy. Oh, come back. Uh oh. I'll grab him, I'll grab him. Oh, I see him. Uh, can someone grab this rod? Thank you. Fish, fish. Hey, that's me fish. Oh, wind it up, Noah. It's gone slack. Oh, you still got him. Pull up. That's a beauty. Look at the size of him. Oh, yeah. That's one of the biggest ones I've seen. And the good thing is he's ate the whole bait in one go, yeah. see? Oh, crap. Be careful. All right, bring him around. Don't lift him out of the water. I try. Bring him around. Oh, look at the size of it. Yes! That was teamwork, you and me. Yeah! Yeah, baby. Look species at the size of this mullet. Species number 16, get it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get the oh, we get it. I caught a big mullet. What kind of mullet is that? Diamond scale. Diamond scale mullet. Oh, yeah, that's ready? diamond color. Yeah, see the diamonds on him? Yeah. Pretty cool. Put your arms out. It's on the top. It looks a bit like a, a um, cobia. All right, hand underneath, not on top. Underneath and just cradle him. That's it. That's squeezing through hard. Whoa! Well done. You got him. Ooh. That's a big mullet, man. They pull hard too, don't they? Yeah. Why are you staring at the camera? Because because this is a because this is a dime old crap mullet. Oh. That is a cool fish. And I tell you what, kids love catching just about anything. So when you can catch a fish like this that actually pulls a bit of line. I was a little bit disappointed when I had to hand it over just quietly. Alright, send him home, mate. Okay. See you buddy. See you, buddy. Slime shake. Oh brother. <laughs> Good job, mate. Oh, yeah. 
Well, that brings us, all these guys, to the end of a very cool week of fishing. Have you had a good time, mate? Yeah. You, you have? Would, like, mm -hmm. What was your favourite fish that you caught? The long tail and Spanish mackerel. First Spanish mackerel? Mm hmm And my first long tail. That's so good, mate. And I think, I think my queenfish as well. I never caught a queenfish. Mate, before. you have had a good week, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Sorry I couldn't be out there with you the whole it's time. It's fine, but at least we got the 15 species. Well, you did. And you won the Fishing Addiction Challenge. 7,000 bucks worth of gear. Do you know how much gear that is? Yeah. That's a lot of gear, man. Mm hmm. Damien, you had a good time, mate. Superb. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely perfect time. Yep. How nice is it spending this time with your son? It's what a great memory. Down, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd like to take the opportunity to say a special thanks to the guys from Offshore Boats. If you come up to Darwin, they'll do a day trip or get a group together, stay in town and go out to the restaurants, have a good time, then go fishing all day. Yeah, it's a pretty good system. So check them out. Their website's on the screen right now. They were very good. They stepped up. They look after, looked after me when I was crook and obviously took over the show while I was uh, out of action. So offshore boats, they're good guys. And of course, thanks to Wilson for making Fishing Addiction possible and giving us such great prizes for kids like this. And remember to give yourself the chance to come on the show. You've got to be a member just like Noah. So go to fishingaddiction.com.au, sign up today and you never know. Might do another father-son trip soon, I reckon. With us, yeah. with us again? <laughs> no. No. Oh, maybe man. another time, maybe another time. Yeah. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Mark Berg. That's Noah, that's Damien. You stay safe and God bless. See you. See you later, alligators. <laughs> <laughs> what a great kid. You idiot. <laughs> Are we going to do like bloompers? Like, is it going to be like... Bloompers? Yeah. And by, uh, my dad's coming, you know. I know. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's going to be you and your dad. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to take him because he doesn't like the swans, but then I thought, <laughs> uh, I better take him because, you know, he's a good guy. Is he a good guy? Uh... I don't know.